from playwright Kui Gwen. I am the writer to the play Vit Gone. Vit Gone is my parents' love story about two refugees who, who lost their families and their loved ones in Vietnam and how they kind of had to rebuild their lives in a refugee camp in Fort Chaffee, Arkansas in 1975. I think my favorite line in Vit Gone is uh, a song lyric, I'll make it home. Most of the events are real, like how they escaped Vietnam, the way my dad had a wife and two kids, my mom had a boyfriend, all those things were real. Now, they don't speak like 2017 teenagers and they also don't rap, so that's totally fake. But besides that, like most of the events are real. The plan that changed my life was Jesus Hop the A-Train. The writers that have inspired me uh, that I can think of are David Henry Wong, Lloyd Sa, and Stephen Adley Gigas. I think I've always wanted to write a play about my parents. Uh, it took a while to get around to doing it though. I didn't actually have a voice, I didn't know what I was doing, so all I could do was imitate writers I loved, and so I just basically co-opted like David Henry Wong. I was like, oh, how would David Henry Wong write this play? And I just kind of wrote a play trying to imitate him, and then my family actually went and saw it. My mom's first words was like, it's fine, it just doesn't sound like you. And I was like, but you've never seen my writing. How do you know what sounds like me? And she's like, it's not your voice, who you are as a person. I know you're funny, this play is super sincere. It just doesn't seem like who, I'm surprised that this is you. And that kind of like rocked me. And you know, being the rebellious 25 year old at the time, I was like, well, screw you, mom. I'm gonna do it my way. Then I'm gonna do all the crazy things that you, that you think you want me to be me. Then I'm gonna show you what me's like on stage. Incorporated like comic books and sci-fi and martial arts and multimedia and puppetry. And it was just kind of like we changed genres and threw in hip hop and it was just this kind of rebellious downtown form. And I was like, but someday I'll get back to writing family stories again. But you know, when I'm older, I'm, I get all of this out of my system. But you know, I'm near 40 now and it's definitely not out of my system. My parents are older and I have kids now and I was like, well, I, I definitely want to write this. You know what, I'm just gonna bite the bullet and just, just write it in this style, in this voice, me as me. My best advice for any aspiring writer is just be you.